damn it, I'm not hype enough. Fever dreams. Ah! So it's been a while since I last vlogged, really. There's been a lot of stuff. There's been sort of daily vlog, travel vlog stuff. And that's just kind of infested my channel over the last while. And I feel as much as I loved making those, those might be more enjoyable for me than you guys. Today I'm going to talk about what I've done since I left school because I've not really kept you guys very updated on it. I kept you updated on the fear before leaving school, but I've not really gone into what happened after and if it was if it was worth that fear if I'm burning in hell now who knows well <laughs> you're about to find out since I left school I traveled internationally without parents for the first time and stayed and adventured with YouTube friends in Holland stayed in a hotel alone for the first time, which I was very nervous for, but actually it was it was fun. It was a great hotel. It was a big comfy bed with many, many a pillow. And um, I decided to sit in the bath for some reason, to be honest with water and just sort of chilling. It was a it was a nice, nice place. That place it was. I worked on my first professional TV set just for a day on the ITV series Beowulf. Um, I'm not sure when that comes out, but um, it was bloody awesome. Can't tell you anything about it, but it was great. And you should watch that when it comes out. My short film Contrast was chosen to be screened at the Edinburgh International Film Festival, which is a really big, important film festival. So I, I don't know what the hell my film was doing in there, but they, they chose it. Um, it was shortlisted in the final 10 of the shorts competition to be screened um, as part of the Fringe. And then it won one of the prizes. It won most innovative use of the theme, which was like, which is amazing. And I got like this, pretty, pretty nice, not too shabby, um, as well as a GoPro. Um, and I feel fancy. I lived alone for the first time. Well, I am. Mm -hmm. It is Wednesday. Fucking August. Shit, what the hell happened again? And this was when I had my first professional film job on a feature film called Moon Dogs. So I was a trainee and I worked on a proper film that, that, that directed by the guy, Philip John, who directed Downtown Abbey and Being Human, which is bloody awesome. And that was. A really cool experience. Long days though, long days in filmmaking. It was a bloody draining, exhausting experience, but it was cool. I made and edited a really cool short film with some really cool people at a film course in Glasgow and that was when um, I really fell in love with Glasgow. Um, and I made I made some friends there, one really top-notch friend that I'm sure I'm gonna stay friends with. Um, just, yeah, it was a cool time. That was fun. And I'm gonna put that film up on here, maybe this month. Gonna put it up for you guys sometime because um, I'm quite proud of it. It's a different editing style, but I hope you'll like it. I met a boy on the streets of Glasgow who liked YouTube too, and we spontaneously filmed the video and became friends, meeting up again and again over the course of my time in Glasgow, which is a weird spontaneous thing that you wouldn't expect if you knew me. Glasgow does things to you guys. What can I say? I finished and released my biggest project ever, Moving Pictures, um, a documentary which my creativity has been bloody devoted to for the last seven months. So I'm gonna have to find a way to squeeze both in vlogs and bloody big projects, you know, and all the other film stuff that's happening in my life. I did a wedding video, so you know, professional wedding videographer now clearly. Um, I've been working on a couple different charity projects for one of them. I got flown in a helicopter for some cool shots and then got given a free helicopter lesson. Casual, casual stuff guys. This is all but a day in the life of Gao. I learned minimal Dutch. 
Um, I've always liked learning languages. I enjoyed French at school, but once I stopped that, um, it sort of faded. So it's been fun to learn Dutch, and um, this is largely because I have a bunch of Dutch friends. Netjes in der dad. Netjes in der dad. Their reactions when I speak Dutch are really amusing, especially when I learn Dutch swear words and insults. They're always a fun time. <laughs> Most recently, um, only last week, I travelled solo internationally for the first time to visit an adventure with YouTube friends in Norway, and that was really cool. And Norway's a really pretty place, so... Gotta get back to normal life now. Well... We'll see. We'll see where it goes. Everything... The future's very open right now. I don't know where it's gonna go, but... I feel quite proud of the amount I've managed to do in this time. The gap year has been not so bad so far. Life is kind of a bit crazy now, so there's a lot more to come. I hope. Um, so yeah, I'm not burning in hell yet. Uh, goodbye. <laughs>